Hi everyone. Today is Wednesday, March 7, 2018. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist for the National Weather Service. And this is the short version of the March Utah water supply forecast. So let's take a look and we'll start with the March 4th storm pattern. And I got this image March 3rd uh, leading into the storm. This was Saturday. This is, these are the rendition of the winds at about 20 to 30,000 feet. It's a jet stream. And the red area is the strongest winds in the jet stream. Where the jet stream goes, the storm track goes. And you'll see that we did quite well. The yellow dot is Salt Lake area. And this storm came around quite nicely. The high pressure that's been dogging us all winter got much smaller, went down by Mexico. Low pressure up by British Columbia. This is a perfect synopsis of, of air that's going to move into the western U.S., and specifically California through Utah. So when you look at the precip anomaly, and we look at February, you can see February was not a good month for us as far as water supply, as far as precip goes and snow. Uh, Calif Colorado did better, parts of Wyoming did better, but when you look down in Arizona, they've had a terrible time this year. When you look at where it counts up in the mountains, uh, we see amounts that are 50 to 70% across most of Utah with Colorado doing a little better, but Arizona doing much worse. When you combine the beginning of the water year from October all the way through February, this is what you see as far as precip goes. A lot of the areas in southern Utah are less than 30%, yet we have some areas 30 to 50%. That's the amount of precip that's fallen since October 1st through February, and as the farther north you go, it gets better, but it's still not great. In the mountains, where it counts, uh, still that same roughly 50 to 70 percent over a great deal of the area. Up in the Bear, maybe 70 to 90 percent, and that's our healthiest watersheds through Utah. When you look at temperatures, what we saw during February was, was okay. It, it wasn't as hot as it's been. There are parts of Utah that were hotter than average, but a good portion of Utah was cooler than average. When you look at from December, January, February, the meteorological winter of 2018, this is what you see, roughly 5 to 7 degrees above average temperature-wise. And this is why we've had such a hard time putting together a snowpack. It rained up to 10,000 feet in November. We've melted off the low elevation snow, although we have had a, an increase in that. We'll see how long that stays below 7,000 feet, but overall warmer than average. When you look at snowpack, and this is what we see currently as of March 7th, and what we've done is looked at each basin, averaged all the areas where we measure snow by the NRCS, and come up with a percentage of average, and this is what you see. Notice southern Utah is doing much worse. That's due to the high pressure that really set up in November all the way through parts of early February and blocked any storms in the southern part of the state. We're going to see more of this as we continue to warm our climate. High pressure is expected to be a bigger part of our weather pattern during the winter months, and that's going to affect central and southern Utah. Notice the green did much better. So overall, a pretty rough picture as far as snowpack for Utah. When you convert snowpack, soil moisture, everything that goes into the forecast, and this forecast is made by the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center, part of the National Weather Service, this is what you see. This is the amount of water expected to come out of the mountains from April 1st through the end of July by percentage. And up in the Bear, part of northern Utah, 75%, up in Wyoming, 95%. But then you get down where people live, the Weber, uh, the Six Creeks area by Salt Lake County, Utah County, the Duchesne area. They're all in that 45 to 55 percent range, roughly half of what we expect. And then when you go from central Utah down, things dramatically decrease. So we're only going to see little bits of water coming out of the mountains this year. And this is dependent on our weather from here on out also. So there you have it. There's my contact info. If I can do anything for you, let me know. Uh, there's email, phone number. Take a look at this. Look at the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center's website. And uh, I do appreciate taking the time to listen to this. We'll see you later.